Alright, let's dive into the world of Dragon Ball and explore 10 valuable life lessons that the legendary Akira Toriyama has taught us through his iconic creation. From the importance of friendship and determination to never giving up in the face of adversity, Dragon Ball has left a lasting impact on fans around the globe. So, without further ado, let's get started. At number 10 keep pushing forward, your effort will pay off. Dragon Ball has taught us that hard work is key to success. Remember Goku? The dude's been training non-stop since he was a kid, and it's paid off big time. Even when he faces super strong villains who might beat him at first, he never gives up. He keeps working hard until he can take him down the next time around. But it's not just Goku you know, his biggest rival Vegeta also works his butt off. Heck, even Frieza, that evil villain we all know and love to hate, finally realized he had to work hard to get stronger, and look where it got him. The Black Frieza transformation, anyone? The lesson here is simple. If you want to grow and achieve greatness, you gotta put in the effort. So keep pushing yourself, and don't give up when things get tough. Your hard work will pay off eventually. At number 9, everyone deserves a second chance. You know what's awesome about Dragon Ball? It shows us that people can change for the better, no matter how bad they might have been in the past. Just look at Vegeta and Piccolo. They used to be villains, but they turned their lives around and became heroes. Even Yamcha and Tien started out on the dark side but found their way to the light. Goku always believes in the good in people, even when they've done some pretty awful stuff. Sure, not everyone's gonna change, but Goku and his crew remind us that if we give folks a chance, they might just surprise us and become better versions of themselves. So let's keep an open mind, and remember that anyone can turn their life around if they really want to. At number 8, be careful. Your choices today might haunt you tomorrow. Ever noticed how Dragon Ball teaches us that our actions have consequences? Like big time. Take the Frieza and Cell sagas for example. When Frieza got his butt kicked by Goku, it was karma catching up with him for treating the Saiyans like dirt for so long. Goes to show that if you do bad stuff, it'll come back to bite you eventually. But it's not just the villains who get a taste of their own medicine. Remember when Goku took down the entire Red Ribbon Army as a kid? Well, that led to the creation of Cell and the androids, who were all about getting revenge on our hero. Even in Dragon Ball Super, we see this theme pop up again with Granola's story. The lesson here is simple. Your past can catch up with you, whether you're a good guy or a bad guy. So be mindful of the choices you make today, cause they might come back to haunt you later. Instead of running from your history, learn from it and grow, so you can be the best version of yourself. At number 7, family goes beyond blood ties. One thing Dragon Ball gets absolutely right is that family isn't just about sharing DNA. Some of the tightest bonds in the series are between characters who aren't related at all. Take Piccolo and Gohan for example. Their relationship is rock solid, even though they're not blood related. The same goes for Goten and Trunks. Those two are best buds, even though they're not technically family. In Dragon Ball, the strongest friendships form when characters fight side by side, train together, and save the world as a team. Just look at Tien and Chaozu, or Krillin and Goku. These warriors prove that shared experiences and deep connections are way more important than blood ties. So remember folks, family isn't just about who you're related to. It's about the people who stand by you through thick and thin, the ones who push you to be your best, and the friendships that feel like home. At number 6, even the toughest warriors have a soft spot. In Dragon Ball, we see some of the most powerful and badass fighters in the universe. But guess what? Even these tough guys have a soft side when it comes to their loved ones. Take Vegeta for example, he's all gur, I'm a tough Saiyan warrior, but when someone messes with Bulma watch out. He'll go full on protective mode. Same goes for Piccolo. He acts like he's too cool for emotions, but he'll risk everything to keep Gohan safe. These guys might be merciless in battle, but they show a whole different side when they're with their loved ones. That's what makes them true heroes. 
They're not just all brawn and no heart. They care deeply, and that's what makes us root for them. So remember, even the mightiest warriors can be gentle and caring. It's a reminder that strength and vulnerability can coexist, and that's something we can all learn from. At number 5 stand up for what's right, even if it's not easy. We all know Gohan hates fighting right? From his very first appearance, it's clear he's not a fan of confrontation. Even though he's got mad potential as a fighter, he holds back until things get really bad. This habit ends up causing a lot of problems for him and those around him. But then comes the Cell Saga, where the whole world is counting on Gohan. It's in this intense moment that he learns an important lesson. Sometimes, you've got to fight for what you believe in. Android 16's plea for him to protect the world hits home for Gohan. Even though he barely knew 16, the passion and determination to save the world moved him. This moment reminds us that there are some things worth fighting for, even if it's hard or scary. Sometimes, standing up for what's right means stepping out of your comfort zone and facing challenges head on. Just like Gohan, we can find the courage to defend what matters most, no matter the cost. At number 4, a friendly rivalry can push you to new heights. You know what's cool about Goku. He's always up for a good challenge, and his rivalries have played a massive role in making him the powerful fighter we know and love. Sure, his rivalry with Vegeta is legendary, but did you know that even his closest Bud Krillin started out as his rival? Same goes for Tien. Rivalries keep pushing Goku to grow and become an even better fighter. And this trend continues even in Dragon Ball Super's latest arcs. I mean, just look at Frieza. Dude unlocked his insane black Frieza form just to prove he's stronger than Goku and Vegeta. Now that's some serious dedication. While having a rival might sometimes lead to trouble, Goku thrives on the competition. He sees it as a way to grow and improve, both as a fighter and as a person. So, having a friendly rivalry in your life can be a great motivator. Just remember to keep it healthy and supportive, like Goku does. At number 3, Heart Over Heritage. Embrace your identity to lift others up. So, you know how Goku grew up on Earth like a regular human, even though he's actually part of the crazy powerful alien race. They were all about conquering and destroying, but Goku's grandpa Gohan raised him to be a kind and helpful dude. This just goes to show that our background or race doesn't define who we are, it's what's in our hearts that counts. But there's more to this lesson y'all. Embracing your heritage can give you strength and help you lift others up too. Remember the Frieza saga, when Frieza saw Saiyans as lesser beings? Goku was like, nope, not having it. He accepted his Saiyan roots and became a Super Saiyan, a total game-changer. By standing up to Frieza's bigotry and showing off the true power of the Saiyans, Goku taught us that we should be proud of our identity and use it to make a positive impact. So, embrace your background and use your unique strengths to help others, just like Goku did. At number 2 Learn from the past, focus on the present. All right. Let's talk about future Trunks and his time-traveling adventures. You know what we can learn from this dude? It's simple. You can't change the past, but you can definitely make a difference in the present. When Trunks went back in time to warn Goku about some serious stuff going down in the future, it changed Goku's present, not Trunks' timeline. In the end, it was Trunks' training with his dad that gave him the strength to return to his future and kick some android butt, making his world a better place. See, traveling to the past might not have directly fixed Trunks' own timeline, but it wasn't pointless either. He ended up saving two worlds, which is pretty badass. The lesson here is to learn from the past, but focus on what you can do in the present to make things better. Don't get stuck in the what-ifs, use your experiences to grow and make a difference right now. At number 1 Don't judge a book by its cover, strength comes in all shapes and size. One of the biggest takeaways from Dragon Ball is this, never judge someone by their appearance. Remember how villains often underestimated Goku because he was just a small kid? Yeah, well, they learned the hard way that he was way stronger than he looked. 
The same thing happened with Gohan in DBZ. Dude had endless potential that surprised everyone, even his best buds. But it's not just the good guys either. Take Frieza for example. His final form was designed to be smaller and weaker looking on purpose. That's Akira Toriyama, the creator, messing with our ideas of what strength is supposed to look like. So, what's the lesson here? Don't assume you know someone's strength just by looking at them. Strength can come in all shapes and sizes, and it's often the people you least expect who will surprise you the most.